Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back. My name is Shanika and today I'll be getting you through a yin yoga sequence for late summer. And I know I don't even want to say it, but summer is slowly coming to an end and we are in that transition period. So we're moving from that fiery, energetic energy to a space where we need to recharge, slow down and restore ourselves for the season to come, which is fall. We're not there yet but we are in that transition period. So the purpose of today's practice is to let go and ground and let go of any excess heat, excess energy or restlessness that we might be holding on to and help ease you into the new season. For today's practice, you are going to need two blocks for the end as we will be doing a heart opener. Other than that, the majority of the practice is seated and that's it. I hope you enjoy it and I will see you on the mat. So starting in a simple cross-legged position today, taking the left shin in front of the right. And then of course, just moving the fleshy parts from out underneath you so that you're nice and grounded on your sit bones. And then what you wanna do from here is walk your feet forward and a little bit wide. So it feels like an awkward, an awkward sitting position. And then think about flexing your big toes back towards your knees. We'll take an inhale here. And on the exhale, gently walk your fingertips forward. You can keep the gaze lifted or drop the gaze, drop the head. Coming into our last few breaths here. Maybe you want to walk your fingertips over towards the right. Feeling that nice stretch in the left side body. Take our last two breaths here. Nice big inhale, fill up. And side out. One more inhale. And exhale. So if you are reaching to the right, walk your fingertips back through center and very gently yourself all the way back up right. We'll do this on the other side 
And so switching the crossing of the shin. So right shin comes in front of the left. Walk your feet forward and wide. Move the fleshy parts from out underneath you. Inhale to lengthen. And exhale to fold over. Coming into our last few breaths, you can stay here or maybe walk all 10 fingertips over towards the left. Last two breaths here, nice big inhale. And sigh it out. One more inhale. And exhale. Gently lift the gaze, walk your hands back through center, and gently walk yourself all the way back up. Gently lean, lean back, bend the knees, and just gently windshield wiper the knees from side to side, gently hammock the knees. And from here, we'll make our way into a wide-legged fold. So extending your legs out nice and wide. And just maybe grab your block in case you decide that you want to use it. Bringing fingertips in front and behind and gently interim yourself forward and then do the same on the other side. So you want the legs nice and relaxed. We're going to lean over the 
right leg first and then we'll lean over the left leg and we'll use we'll use the block a little bit later so turning and looking over that right leg walking your fingertips so you're framing that right leg and stay here on your palms or you can come down onto your forearms last few breaths on this side Last two breaths, nice big inhale. And side out. One more inhale. And exhale. So staying nice and low, we're just gonna walk our hands all the way over to the left this time. Framing that left foot with your hands. And all these poses that we're doing are really great if you're experiencing any low back discomfort. Any twisting and Really targeting the QL area really helps those tender areas. Last few breaths here.
take our last two breaths, nice big inhale. And sigh it out. One more inhale. And exhale. Gently walking all 10 fingertips back through center. This is the best part. You're gonna take your block if you decide you want to try this. You're going to place the block sideways on an angle so that it's balancing on the edge of the block. And then you're just gonna rest your tummy on the block. And it's sort of, I don't know, it's a nice support in the pose. You can also change the height of the block depending on the length of your torso. Totally up to you. last few breaths here you can also remove the block if you want Last two breaths here, nice big inhale. And let it go. One more inhale. And exhale. Gently push up onto your forearms if you're all the way down. Walk yourself all the way back up. Gently lean back. Place your hands underneath your knees to help bend them. Oh. Wrap your arms around your knees. Just gently rock side to side. This is where we will make our way into the heart opener. So grabbing both of your blocks. Placing the first block on its highest height, second block, second highest height. 
And for this one, we'll find a hero's pose. So bringing the big toes to touch at the back, knees come out a little bit wide, about as wide as your mat. Push into your fingertips, pick up your hips, and then tuck your tailbone under. Set yourself back down. And then you want to come down onto the block. You don't want the block digging into your low back, so slightly away. And then resting your head on the top block. It might take a little bit of shimmying around to find that sweet spot. But once you do find it, just release everything. Let it go into the blocks. Notice if you're dropping your chin towards your chest, try to make space between the chest and the chin. Allowing yourself to settle. Maybe thinking back on all the activities, just things that happened this summer. I know for me, growing up, we never, going to the cottage or going to the trailer was never, never a thing in my family. So this summer we rented an RV and Just experienced what it was like to be in RV um, and to have campfires and go swimming in the lake. I'd say that's my most memorable moment of this summer. Last few breaths here. Maybe you reach the arms up overhead, grab a hold of opposite elbows, interlace your fingers. Take our last two breaths here, nice big inhale. And sigh it out. One more inhale. And let it go. 
So if you're in hero's pose, gently push into, let's say your right elbow, roll onto your right side and unravel that left leg. Remove the block with your left hand. And come to lie down all the way back onto the mat. Draw your knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a gentle rock from side to side. Taking a brief twist, dropping both knees to the right, gentle gaze to the left. Back through center, other side. Coming back through center, draw your knees in towards your chest, and take double wind relieving pose. Draw your knees in towards your chest, you can wrap your arms around your knees. Grab onto your feet. We're gonna squeeze nice and tight here for three, for two. Nice big inhale, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And exhale, release. You can extend your legs out wide, arms out wide for your Shavasana. My feet into butterfly for today. Slowly beginning to call ourselves back, wiggling the fingers and the toes, rotating the ankles, the wrists. Reaching the arms up overhead for a nice long body stretch. And on the exhale, let it go. Bending the knees one by one, rolling over onto your side. You can cradle the head and the upper arm. And then very gently pushing into your hands to help yourself all the way up. Just 
bringing your hands to prayer. Gently, humbly bowing your chin towards your chest. Taking a few moments here. I want to close with just mentioning that summertime is a very fast paced time for a lot of us and it can sometimes leave us leave us disconnected from the rhythms around us and so i hope that today's practice uh, reminds you to honor not only the natural rhythms that are around us but your own internal cycle your own internal rhythms as well Having said that, I hope you enjoyed the practice. Leave me a comment. Let me know what was your most memorable moment of summer 2023 was. I mentioned mine was being in the RV and swimming in, in the lake. It was wonderful. I always enjoy reading your comments, so let me know. And I will see you back here again soon for another practice.